So news has emerged recently that Thailand will receive two new low-cost carriers in the country with the objective of capturing more tourists, allowing them to fly into and explore the amazing country for less. The two new carriers are Thai Summer Airways and Thai Easter Jet, with both set to move on to the final set of stages of a new airline. Thai East Target will be set up by Thai and South Korean investors, while Thai Summer is a joint venture between Thai and Chinese investors, with both airlines targeting a launch in 2020. However, in this aviation analysis, the airplane productions isn't going to cover the news portion, though if you would like to see the full written report, do consider checking out the article on the airplane productions Instagram page, the new and future home for all future aviation news updates. In this one, we will be looking at what this means for Thailand's own struggling flag carrier, Thai Airways. As we all know, Thai Airways is in serious financial troubles, with Thai Airways president citing decrease in tourism numbers, unsustainable routes with low load factors, and high operating costs as the reasons. And amidst all the issues, the decision to further add to their woes seems odd, but it highlights a new tactic Thai Airways is using to push themselves back to profitability. Thailand has long had a few home-based budget airlines, and with many travellers now flying budget, the lack of a subsidiary in this fast-growing market partially led to the losses. Thai Airways has previously failed to capture potential revenue in this fast-growing segment. However, it finally seems the airline is catching up with the low-cost bandwagon, and these are certainly good steps to increasing revenue at the Thai Airways Group. However, besides the launch of their own budget airline, can Thai Airways full service division do more? Well, let's analyze some problems and the potential solutions. Firstly, Thai Airways has an extremely segregated fleet with little commonality. Sure, for a plane spotter, more types of aircraft is a good thing, but for an airline, it increases operating costs. As an example, pilots will need to be trained to fly on different types of aircraft, crew will have to be trained to work in different galleys, and both of these increase the pilot and crew training costs. Furthermore, maintenance costs are also higher, as technicians will need to be trained to work on different types of aircraft, but more parts will be needed to fix different aircraft. Hence, the first step is to simplify the Thai Airways fleet, while still having a flexible fleet that can be deployed across different markets. As an example, Thai operates the 787 and 777 on Boeing side, and the A330 and A350 on the Airbus side, not forgetting the larger two, the 747 and A380. Thai should pick one combination that gives them the highest passenger revenue potential while also offering lowest direct operating costs, either the 777 and 787 or A350 and A330 combination. Also, the heavy and inefficient quads should be phased out during this time of unstable load factors and financial difficulties. Secondly, there is the typical issue with overemployment. This is an issue that is simple to fix, but must be done so in a socially responsible manner. Thai Airways could also take advantage of the digital revolution, incorporating digital technologies in their operations. And lastly, the operation management of the airline alone can be improved. The airplane productions has flown with Thai recently and was left unimpressed with the constant stream of delays and messy boarding practices, though the 747 did make up for some of it. All jokes aside, Thai Airways is a great airline and I most certainly wouldn't want to see them fail. After all, they are the flagship of Thailand-based carriers. The airplane productions wishes them a truly clear sky ahead in the next decade and to continue to serve as the flagship of Thailand-based airlines. What do you think? And will the steps mentioned in the video propel Thai out of this financial crisis? Comment below.